Hey, what's up you guys? It's Taylor here at Casones RV on East Main Street in Mesa, Arizona. Behind me, I've got a 2018 Tiffin Phaeton 40IH. So this is a 40-foot Tiffin Phaeton. This is the 40IH. We've got four slide outs on this RV. This is a full body paint. We've got black, silver, and uh, white here on the outside of the coach. We're gonna walk you through the whole outside and the whole inside of the RV. Here in the front, we've got a slide out tray right here that pulls out. That goes over, um, I think halfway out on either side of the RV. And then we've just got this big section here, um, not with a slide out tray, but just another big storage section. They've got the motion sense um, sensing lights. So I just opened that door and that just turned on for me which is super nice. Maybe not so much when it's in broad daylight, doesn't really matter so much, but at night, it's very important. We've got the six um, <clears throat> chassis batteries right here on the, um, on the slide out tray here. And these are all brand new batteries. We've got the slide out tray here to slide that out. Um, these uh, slides do um, have, are like the radius list slides i guess you could call them they don't have that lip on them which look very aesthetic and very nice when the rv is in and also when the or when the slides are in also when the slides are out here in the back this does have the aqua hot and we've got the 4500 aqua hot system in the back back here i walk around the back of the outside this is the phaeton XSH and this has the 380 Cummins motor. They had both um, options for the 450 and the 380. This is the 380 which um, is priced accordingly being that it is a little bit cheaper than that 450. We've just got some fuses back here and uh, the fuse switch. If you ever have a fuse die you can just hit that fuse switch back there for either of those and turn it on or back off. And we've got your house batteries back here with another disconnect. And one thing I didn't point out is that over on the other side, um, actually where the slide out was on the other side of those batteries, there was another disconnect switch. And you also had the on off switch for the inverter as well. So those can kind of be on and then you can turn the, dis the um, disconnect battery switch off when you first walk in the door so that your batteries don't drain and it probably shouldn't drain it. You want to just really, most of the time, I always just turn them off because um, I don't want to, uh, of course, kill batteries, especially brand new batteries. So I always turn those off. Even though uh, a lot of these newer RVs, if you do have disconnect switches on in the back and then you hit the disconnect switch in the front, it should kill most things, but it will, you know, it can trickle certain things. So you want to make sure that um, those are off most of the time, especially if it's sitting for a long period of time. If it's not sitting for a long period of time, then that's all right. You got another storage container back here. Um, this doesn't have the Dirt Devil, but it does have a central vac, and it's right here. I don't know the name of that central vac. Vac doesn't even tell me on there, but it's not the Dirt Devil. You do have a central vac, though. This is just the other side to those, um, to that slide out tray, that storage container. We've got the LG uh, TV here on the outside, fairly big TV, huge TVs on the inside, lots of TVs, um, or actually two big TVs in the living space we'll see here when we head on in the inside. I'm gonna back up for you, try to get a little bit better shot of the outside of this RV um, and kind of show you too how big that TV is on the outside speaker underneath there We do have an awning here on the slide out right over top of that. We also have a additional awning over top of the door uh, We do have the keyless entry and we've got LED light strips underneath of the awning and also um, over top here when you're heading on inside of the RV and two slide outs over here on the passenger and then the other two of course on over on the uh, driver's side we do have side view cameras. I do have the generator running, so when we head on in here, it is gonna be much quieter. Let's head on inside and see what we got. Right to the left-hand side, as soon as I walk in, that's where your disconnect switch is, so when you turn that off most of the time, you're not gonna be killing those batteries as long as you remember to turn that off. And uh, you also have the on and off step. You've got lights, porch lights, awning lights, and then your door awning switch right here your 
actual extension awning. Your big awning is up there in that top cabinet. Sometimes Tiffin will put things in different locations. So once you know where they're at, then you know where they're at. Same thing um, Tiffin does too, which I point out to sometimes when I'm in my um, in Tiffin's, is that a lot of times in their newer RVs, they will have slide out switches on the sides of their seats, which if you don't know, can be a hassle, an absolute hassle to find. Once you know, it's actually very nice to have these up here. I think a lot of the reason why they do that is so that when you have your slides come in, you're not standing in the way um, in any way, shape or form. It's a really good spot for them to be, to be able to see everything and also not be in the way when your slides come in. So these are switches for your front two slides and then you've got your back two slides on the digital dash gauge back there in the back. We've got the Allison transmission, see right there. And we've got the HWH computerized leveling system, automatic leveling there, 28,280 miles. We've got the LG TV up here in the front. Really nice all real wood cabinetry in this. Um, these really nice Tiffin accents we got there on each side. Also up at the top, really huge storage containers, um, storage bins shelves whatever you want to call them up here at the top um top of this rv this is how we got the rv we still have to clean the inside and clean the outside but it's in very good shape this is just the way that we got it here you can see uh you've got the split um you can have split cam uh for the backup and side view camera if you want there on the screen we've got your uh keen uh kenwood radio up here in the front also navigation on that screen as well you do have a generator push stop start right there in the front as well as on that back digital dash screen there in the back you've got a fan a little fan up here as well in the front you have this extension piece for the passenger as well as you do have a um, a latch for a step that comes out um, sorry not a step of foot extension that comes out for the passenger on long trips that definitely does make a huge huge difference um, having that these seats do swivel they rotate they go up and down pretty much eight-way power for you we've got the recliners here right behind that driver's seat we've got cup holders here in the center sometimes they're on the sides sometimes they're in the center these are in the center we've got uh, those those do recline we've got power outlet here back there in the center and right across from that we've got the uh, let me first get a shot this whole inside here sometimes I'm just talking and I'm zooming in on things and I don't get a really clear shot of the actual RV look at how amazing this interior is the wood is also not too dark it's not too light I really like that it's great for me in the selling sense where I don't have somebody walk in and say oh my gosh this is too dark oh my gosh this is too light it's really a nice mutual color right across from those seats we've got your love seat this does turn into a bed pulls out and you do have the pump for that underneath of the uh, booth dinette there. And then we've got the big LG TV. This is an absolutely huge TV for this space. Usually you don't get a TV this big, especially on a televator like that. I was actually pretty surprised because usually they've got them on the televator, but when they come out, they're like, you know, smaller um, than they look. And this is not, this is like, it's got to be a 55 inch TV probably bigger than that I don't know but it's definitely big it's the full size exactly full size of that window I love the placement of TVs right there um, where you know you don't have to turn your head to look at it in the front which is super nice especially across from recliners you're gonna be using these most of the time and then you also even have the TV in the front um, as well if you do want it there if you're sitting at these booth dinette the booth dinette you're not gonna be able to see the TV there so you can watch TV from the booth dinette. Also, maybe even in these front chairs, I don't know, but they do have the TV up there in the front. Maybe you wanna have two different games or two different uh, something going on at the same time, which is awesome. We've got the kitchen space here. We do have the two electric stove cooktop. We've got the extension for the kitchen that slides on out. And sometimes these can be kind of stingy. They're like not that big. This is a super big extension piece, which really makes uh, you know this kitchen having that extra space for cooking this also does come down so if you're actually not using these of course you would know that that comes down but it comes down pretty flush and uh, flat and it looks very nice and you wouldn't even know that was there other than that hole there at the top we do have the two 
stainless steel um, sinks sinks with the original covers in here is as well uh, we've got some uh, the garbage actually side out garbage right here which is super nice being able to throw food in there right uh, right off your countertops there we've kind of got these uh, little slide out extensions I guess you could call them for your kitchen space we do have a convection microwave because we don't have an oven so we've got the convection Here's that booth dinette. These are just two big uh, storage units underneath. We've got, like I said, that pump for the bed underneath there. And then we've got the dirt, um, not the dirt devil, but the uh, central vac hose underneath there as well. We've got the residential refrigerator and then we've got this pantry here. I can't open it up with one hand, but it's a pantry. The reason being, you've got a button up there. I think they do that so that this doesn't fly open and fly close when you're going down the road, which is nice, but you do have to push that button, use two hands and open this up. But then you've got the pantry right next to the, uh, you've got the Maytag refrigerator here. You do have a bath and a half in this. So this is your first bath right in here. Nothing too big, but hey, you can't complain when you've got an extra bath, bath and a half. Um, I do like this, um, Kind of, I guess you could call it a mini farmer's sink. Looks super awesome. And this little bathroom here. Oh yeah, and did I forgot to forget to mention, you probably already figured it out by now, but we do have tile floors all the way throughout from the front to the back of this RV. And um, we do have, I mean, we do have carpet on the underside of the slides, but you can barely see any of uh, the carpet. Most of the time you are gonna get carpet on those slide outs. Um, the only place where they or it hides it is back here on um, this back entertainment area but really nice tile all the way through from the front to the very back really nice color with these cabinets so right here is that digital gauge here in the back which pretty much controls most of everything inside of your RV and right down below here you can see where it says home your lights um, your lights for everything inside of the RV you can also start your generator from back here and then you also have your slide out controls back here for the back slide outs um, and then oh yeah of course we've got the uh, zone and um, AC on this as well in the back we've got your clothes off here for the back bedroom here this really nice big wooden door and we do have a king-size bed in this RV and we've got really a decent amount of space on either side with the USB ports um, on either side of the bed as well as outlets above there on either side as well again really nice job with Tiffin's accent and wood all the way through even the little details on these back windows here throughout the RV we do have a ceiling fan right above me as well and right across from that is just your storage for the uh, bedroom kind of your clothes uh, dresser and we've got another LGT LG back here as well let's check out this back bathroom we've got the two his and hers sink back here which is so really we have three sinks we've got a sink there for that extra bathroom that uh, bath and a half and then we got the two sinks back here so you definitely have enough sinks and we've got storage medicine kind of his and her um, I guess you could call them makeup mirrors uh, above the sinks as well the back some storage underneath there really nice big shower with the shelf seating handheld uh, hose there as well we've got um, the skylight that is covered right now and has an LED light up there as well and then we do have the washer and dryer not the combo but the stack back here as well on the sliding door and then we've got your whole entire closet space if I can open it with one hand back here as well and of course another toilet back here and we've got the automatic uh, flush button right here and we got some engine access right below my feet as well all right you guys if you like tiffins as much as i do be sure to like the video if you like this video be sure to uh, leave a comment if you have any questions about the rv down in the comments section if you 
uh, want to reach out to us about this RV in particular, you can call us at 480-357-5200. You can also reach me at my email down in the description below. I'll leave that there for you, as well as the website where you can check out our website to see if this coach is still available. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.